This one came in via text and it says, are the Ten Commandments repeated in the New Testament? And they ask uh, law or by grace or grace. So here's someone that's asking about the Ten Commandments. And I know this is something that comes up from time to time with, with the Old against the New Testament. Uh, pa uh, Pastor Johnson, what can we do to, to help this viewer and the questions they have regarding the Ten Commandments? Well, it's important to know that in Matthew chapter five, Jesus takes great pains to let us know that he did not come to destroy the law. Verse 17 says, but he came to fulfill it. So that's Matthew 5, 17. He then goes down into verse 21 and 22 and then 27, 28 quickly. You've heard it said that those uh, said of old, you shall not murder and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother without cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hellfire. Verse 27 and 28 say you have heard it said to, uh, to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman with lust in her heart, in his heart has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So it's important to know, yes, the commandments are fulfilled by Christ. But Jesus actually expands his expectation mm. of his people in mm. these verses here because he is the fulfillment of the law. This means to me that he is expecting us not to just keep the letter, but to keep the heart of the law, where mm. our character now goes above and beyond the Ten Commandments to make sure that our behavior towards one another is exemplary of God's character. But we don't have to do it by ourselves. The mm. spirit of God living in us helps us to be able to live the way that God expects using his law as now a foundation or a starting point for this exemplary exemplary life that we are expected to live. Wow, that's fantastic, mm. you know, because it, it puts those two Old and New Testaments together. And, and I'll thank you so much for that, Pastor Johnst Johnston. Um, very quickly, Dr. Holland, anything you'd like to add to, to that response? Two verses I'd encourage people to go to. Romans 7, 7, Paul says, I would not have known sin except by the law. The law can't save anyone. The hmm. law simply identifies the challenges we have. It's like a mirror. A mirror can't make you look better. A mirror just lets you know what you need to do to look better. And this is why then Romans chapter 3, verse 31 says, do we do away with the law? No, we uphold the law. The law draws us to Jesus, the one who can change us and transform us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for those answers. This is a great way to start our program. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And I can't even believe it that we're already up to our break. But before we go, we just want to remind you that we continue to have our Bible study guides. And you can get them at hopebiblestudy.org. Or for those of you living in North America, you can call us and leave us your address. And we will send the entire collection straight to your home. And that way you can continue diving yes. into the word of God. So don't leave. We'll be right back after these messages. 